Gut health seems to be everybody's latest obsession lately and prebiotics and probiotics are all the rage. Whether it be through eating the right foods or taking supplements, there are definitely ways to keep your gut healthy and your good gut bacteria thriving. So today we're going to be looking at prebiotics and probiotics, the difference between the two, where you can find them and whether or not you need both. What is gut health? Before discussing prebiotics and probiotics, we need to take a look Look at our gut microbiome and these are the little microorganisms that live in our large intestine and more specifically our colon. Studies are always showing that there's a big link between our gut microbiome and so many different aspects of our health and our gut microbiome is influenced by the way we eat, by our environment, whether or not we take certain probiotics and so it's really important to be wary of all of these things in order to have the healthiest gut microbiome possible. Prebiotics and probiotics can help you do just that. There are tons of studies that show the benefits of taking these prebiotics or probiotics for gut health and the good impact that it can have on your gut microbiome. And if you're interested in the sources for this, then check out my blog post that I will be putting in the description. Also, if you want to know more about gut health, I made a video about gut health and the best foods for optimal gut health that you can find right here or in the description. What's the difference between probiotics and prebiotics? If you're like most people, you may have a general idea of what pre and probiotics are, but no actual idea about the actual specifics of each of them. Probiotics are the live bacteria that live in your gut and they're considered to be the good beneficial bacteria that help fight off the bad bacteria. When you eat probiotic rich foods or supplements, they actually contain these live bacteria and so they pass through your digestion digestive system and then they end up in your colon where they colonize it and help out with your other good bacteria. Some of the main probiotic bacteria include lactobacillus, lactobacillus which you find in some fermented foods and also bifidobacterium, bifidobacterium which is found in lots of dairy products. Now prebiotics are the foods that help these probiotics thrive and prebiotics are indigestible fibers that humans well, can't digest so they pass through your digestive system intact and then the gut bacteria is able to feed on it. Examples of these fermentable fibers are inulin which is a really well-known one, there's tons of inulin supplements and oligofructose. So as you can tell by now, prebiotics and probiotics actually work together to keep your gut healthy and so it's a good idea to be getting enough of both. Where can you find probiotics? Probiotics can be found in fermented foods, meaning foods that have undergone a microbial um, growth and this is in a controlled manner and of course fermented foods undergo fermentation which is when the bacteria break down the sugar in the foods into alcohol or gases here are some foods that contain these probiotics yogurt no need to explain that one kefir a fermented probiotic drink which can be made from milk kefir grains or water grains kombucha a black or green tea fermented with bacteria and yeast Tempeh, a high protein fermented soy product. Sauerkraut, shredded cabbage that has been fermented by a lactic acid bacteria. Kimchi, which is also made from cabbage or other veggies and lactic acid bacteria and flavored with a mix of seasonings. Sourdough, which is dough that has fermented naturally with yeast and lactic acid bacteria. Miso, a Japanese paste that is often used in uh, miso soup and it's made from fermenting soybeans with koji, which is a type of fungus. Where can you find prebiotics? Since prebiotics are indigestible fibers, then you can find them in foods which contain these indigestible fibers. And these include fruit and veggies mainly, and more specifically apples, artichokes, asparagus, bananas, berries, garlic, green vegetables, leeks, legumes, onions, tomatoes. They also include whole grains like barley, oats, rye, wheat, and there's also flaxseed, cocoa, and seaweed that contain prebiotics. Probiotic and prebiotic supplements. 
So now that people are becoming more aware of the benefits of prebiotics and probiotics on their gut health and general health, the demand for supplements is on the rise. But is this really needed? Do you really need to have probiotic and prebiotic supplements? And if yes, do you need both? So concerning prebiotics, I wouldn't necessarily recommend taking an inulin supplement or another supplement made of indigestible fiber. I think it's a better idea to directly consume these indigestible fibers through food unless obviously eating too much fiber is really difficult for you because getting too many prebiotics is also not a great thing it can lead to being bloated to gassiness and to abdominal pain and prebiotic foods are very easy to find however for probiotics i would recommend a supplement for certain people if for example they don't like the taste of fermented foods or if they're just not getting any fermented foods also if you're taking antibiotics which can really damage your good gut bacteria it can be useful to take some probiotic supplements make sure to take your probiotics at least two hours apart from your antibiotics so they don't destroy they're not destroyed by the antibiotics and also make sure to continue your probiotics about a week after you finish your antibiotics and finally probiotics supplements can be useful when you're not in your usual environment. Um, if you're eating different foods, if you have higher stress levels, if you have a different sleeping pattern, a different eating pattern, all of these things can mess with your natural good bad bacteria balance. But if you aren't in any of these situations, then what I really recommend is filling up on the prebiotic and probiotic rich foods that I listed above. Probiotics are the actual bacteria, the good bacteria that live in your gut, and prebiotics are the indigestible fibers that feed them. And you need both of them in order to have optimal gut health and health in general. Probiotics can be found in fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, miso, etc. And prebiotics can be found in foods that are rich in indigestible fibers such as asparagus, whole grains, garlic, leeks, if you're not able to uh, get these probiotics and prebiotics from foods, then you can take them in supplement form. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.